We should be about ready to start here, I believe. Transitions, are they gonna work? <gasps> Promising, it worked, cool. Cool, man. For some reason, my chat box window is just, welcome to the chat room, welcome to the chat room, welcome to the chat, like for like 20 lines. Very strange, and hello, Cam. And yeah, you're making note of that stream title there while the starting screen stream was up, and thanks for the host, by the way. Yeah, the stream title there. Death Knight versus a thousand degree glowing Liza Thea experiment. Gone wrong. Cops called. It's a great title. Oh yeah, they added the freaking thing here. Yeah, I streamed Roller Coaster Tycoon World yesterday. I don't want to do it twice in a row. I gotta chill with this game for a little bit. Anyway, so the big update that they've been preparing for this game is done now. So now maddening difficulty is a thing. And they changed male by less voice actor because his original voice actor was kind of a terrible person. So, you know you're a terrible person when you're replaced for a role that you voice acted in after the media has already come out and the company spends like a month and a half just working to replace you and like get your replacement to do all your lines over again. You know you're a bad person when they push out an update to replace you instead of replacing you before comes out since that news only became more widespread after the game came out man oh man anyway because the original voice actor for male byleth is kind of a terrible person they replaced him so there's a new voice actor for male byleth and i've heard a little bit of his voice lines and honestly he sounds pretty solid i feel like he takes to the role pretty well honestly and yeah maddening difficulty is now a thing though i can't change difficulty mid playthrough unless you make it easier so Still, the rest of this playthrough is still going to be hard classic mode, but the next playthrough, the Golden Deer playthrough that we do, that one's going to be on maddening difficulty. Also, they apparently added some more stuff for like the DLC pack. Like apparently there's now some more auxiliary battles that you can do when you choose the battle for, for your week or something like that for your day off. So... Yeah, I don't know what these battles are all about, like what's different about them. Maybe they just give you better rewards or something. I don't know how they differ, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Like that's at least something new with this update that I'll be able to show off at some point. So yeah, updated data has been downloaded. A new difficulty level titled Maddening has been added. The Goddess Tower can now be viewed in entries under event gallery. So like when you romance characters, basically. Event gallery is unlocked after clearing the game. To start playing in Maddening difficulty, select new game from the title menu. It has to be a new a new game then so i can't just switch to maddening mid playthrough so one more hard classic playthrough here being blue lines and then on the next playthrough we'll be doing maddening classic with the golden deer cast new dlc content is available you now have you now have access to a new set of valuable items additional auxiliary battles a new song new attire and a new accessory oh yeah i heard a little bit about that let's see what that is there you can retrieve the items near your bed in your personal course one of the items i think you get is like a one-time use item that gives a character plus two movement permanently but like you only get the one and i mean since there's gonna be multiple playthroughs i may as well give it to like one of my one of my characters you know <laughs> yeah i'm glad you like the stream title tacos i figure this is the month where we go against the death knight and then we recruit flane at the end so i was like okay we're probably for sure going to be going after the death knight this stream so let's throw that in my title but yeah so there's a few new things but yeah so the stat boosting items there's like four of them with this pack and one of them increases movement by two which is wacky which is very wacky. DLC supplies have arrived. Head to your personal quarters and check by the bed to pick them up. Special auxiliary battles are now available. Select so like battle during chapter three or later to engage in these new battles. House loungewear is now available from your journal as a look for select units. In addition, glasses are also available as an accessory for the protagonist. Wow, man, we have one more free day here, but like, yeah, the support conversation or just me with other characters. I was gonna test like if I could Bring the motivation up there. Hold on, goals. Okay, people aren't fully motivated, so I mean, I may as well. I may as well explore right now. I could. And then use, like, battles in the next month for the first day. Because usually the first day you explore. Or, let's see here. So here's a new auxiliary battle. So, yeah, it looks like it jumps up a little bit. 10, 12, and then the this one, level 15. Twice the rewards for being a DLC one. 
brought with the bandits who appeared in the forest as an additional auxiliary battle. So I guess it just gives you like more stuff then. Or something like that. Um Fine, we'll battle after the after the next month there, I guess. So, DLC supplies. This is new. DLC supplies are now available. These supplies will be taken all at once as a set. You must have space available in your convoy or storehouse to do so. My headphones are getting tangled. So yeah, this is the sacred item set. Details. So, sacred gale wind shoes. Sacred shoes that have been kissed by the wind permanently increases movement by two. But that's like the only one of those that you can get. So who would I want to permanently increase the movement by two of? Who gets two extra movement permanently? I'm going to have to debate about that. Um, resplendent robe imbued with floral magic of vernal equinox permanently increases HP by seven. And like, I'm going to be doing multiple playthroughs. So normally whenever I'm playing a game, if there's like really good items like this, but are one time uses, I'd just be like, never use them, keep them in my inventory forever. But we're doing multiple playthroughs. So I got to spend these on somebody. I just don't know who. Sacred Snowmelt Drop. A snowmelt drop from a mountain where a sacred beast dwells permanently increases strength by three. And Sacred Moonstone. A saint who is said to have visited the moon bore this stone permanently increases speed by three. I wonder if I should give those two to my character to like make it easier to recruit other students by way of my stats rather than affinity if I can't get it up with all of them. So yeah, let's take the sacred item set. Looks almost like you were pedaling an invisible bike there for a second, Sothis. So, let's check the journal. Oh yeah, there's more bonus experience! Or bonus renown, sorry. As part of the latest DLC thing, there's more bonus renown if you're playing in a new game plus. It doesn't do it if you're not in a new game plus. So now we're currently sitting at 11,700 renown. So, you know, we can go dump a bunch of points into that, into those statues there. So, unit appearance, attire, house loungewear. <laughs> and look, it's Blue Lions themed. Uh, accessory with glasses. <laughs> Freaking. Perfect, man. Absolutely perfect. Attire, house loungewear part one. What? Is this like time skip? And stuff? It is the time skip. I guess the eye patch is just for show. Just like Zeke from. Xenoblade 2 if he's not wearing it there in part 2. Unless, like, that's... I don't know. Could just be given to him as part of the story then. There we go. Look at this. We're gonna be all decked out. House of loungewear. I'm getting... I'm the, just the professor who's getting all my students ready for an epic game of dodgeball. <laughs> don't worry. We're just... We're just getting ready for a round of dodgeball here. In... In this house. Don't mind me. It's gonna be like the best game of dodgeball ever. Liza Thea, let me guess it's gonna be Golden Deer themed. Oh no, she gets blue lines as well. Huh. What, is that for Cyril as well? Wow, they're all like that. Cool, man, but you can't adjust them outside your house then. So, <laughs> well, what have we got here then? Hey there. What have I done? I cannot believe this. Let's see. Anyway, I should probably use some of those items there. So, inventory. Seal sword can go away for a sec. So yeah, these consumable items... Okay, I don't know who to give the Gale Wind shoes to. Like, maybe someone like Liza Thea as a Grimmery to make her have like high movement and insane magic stuff. But these ones for strength and speed, I feel like maybe I should give to my own character. Just so that makes it easier to recruit other students. I don't think there's anybody that needs to be recruited with like a high HP stat. Like plus 7 HP is quite a bit. Like hold on. Fire Emblem 3 houses recruiting. Like let's just see here. Is there anybody that wants like a high stat of HP? For, for that. So recruitment stat. Yeah there's not HP for anyone. But yeah, as for increasing speed, that would help me recruit Felix, who's already in my house. Oh, there's nobody else outside my house who needs speed up. Okay, I could always give the speed to somebody else. What about strength? Bernadetta and Caspar value strength, and Leonie and Raphael value strength. Oh, but Raphael also wants me to be in heavy armor. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, I'll use the strength on my character then. Is what I'll do. It'll make it easier to recruit some other characters there. But as for these other ones, I feel like maybe I should give the... Where my steel sword go? There it is. So maybe I should give the speed to somebody who's close to doubling but doesn't. Like if Dimitri starts to struggle with doubling later, I could always give it to him to make him more broken. And then I could always give the HP to the dude to make him even more of a wall, but that would add insult to injury. And I'd much rather give it to someone who's like a mixed tank, like Felix after I get the Aegis shield or something like that. You know, also, hold on, who has their motivation down? To do and Sylvain both do. And I can see support conversations with Sylvain here. Will it max out his motivation, though? <laughs> the attire affects the cutscenes, too. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. What happened? You ready for the round of dodgeball oh, later? Professor. I didn't realize you were there. If we keep running into each other like this, people will start to talk. Hey, don't get mad. I was joking. Ah, forget it. What do you need? Um, girl problems, Sylvain? I fell for that girl recently, but I just wanted to have some fun and leave it at that. So, I told her we should break it off. I guess she was feeling a little more serious than I was. She started crying, and everything got a bit complicated. You're complicated. Come on, Professor. Playing around with girls is the most fun a guy can have. Besides, I don't care what you think of me. I don't intend to change how I live my life. I'm a good-for-nothing, if you haven't noticed. But I'm still a noble with a crest. That's all anyone cares about. It's best to avoid getting too serious with fools like that. It only leads to trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna be forced into an arranged marriage with some random noble woman anyway. By the way, Professor, you didn't know you had a crest, did you? My father never told me. I see. I suppose a mercenary wouldn't be concerned with such things. What was your experience? Most children who are born to noble families are tested upon birth to see if they bear one. Even descendants of the ten elites, like myself, can't be legitimate heirs without a crest. That means as children, we're only accepted if we're born with one. The heads of most noble houses keep having kids until they get one with a crest. Those children then grow up to be heads of their houses. And the vicious cycle continues. Do you get it now? To all these commoner girls, I'm just a trophy. Or rather, a stud horse. They mean you only want you for your bloodline? See? I knew you'd get it. These girls don't love me. They love the potential rewards of loving me. If I marry a girl, and she gives birth to a child with a crest, that kid might become the next head of House Gautier. But nowadays, with the bloodlines getting weaker, there are a lot of kids like my brother, born with no hope. For ages now, those of us with crests have been envied and desired, but never for who we are. I understand the value of my blood, believe me. I hate how much I understand it. I know better than to dream of being free from this burden. I'm used to it by now. I used to think I didn't have the right to live freely. I don't think that way anymore. <laughs> That's right. You know what? I'm a bit jealous. The whole time you were growing up, you never knew you had a crest. You were free. Nobody pretended to like you. I kind of hate you for that. You were a spoiled brat who should pay for that crest. Maybe I'll collect the debt. <laughs> gotcha! Wow, you should have seen the look on your face just then. Don't mind me, Professor. After all, ladies love a dark and brooding noble. Dang, I didn't get the motivation up. Maybe it... I guess it only gives you the chance to get their motivation up if... They're the one that seeks you out, and then you talk to them, and you can't deny them then. That sure sucks, huh? Anyway, yeah, Sylvain definitely has a lot of depth there, jeez. Aha! Found ya! You're always nosing around places, aren't you, Professor? Can be real hard to find you sometimes. I don't like these outfits. Something the matter. Everyone just looks so yeah, out of place in them. Been all over it's the so place silly. For you if stuff was normal. 
Do you remember how Lady Rhea asked you to come to the office this evening? Well, she told me that I should come to let you know that today's a bad day for doing that, and you should go and see her tomorrow instead. That's pretty much everything I needed to say, I think. Oh, except to ask you if you've seen Sedith around anywhere. I haven't, sorry. Okay, I'm supposed to tell Sedith the thing Lady Rhea told me to tell you, but he's hard to find. Want me to tell him for you? Nah, I'll find him myself. But if you see him, then find me, please, and tell me where you saw him, okay? Cause then I'll know where he is. I'll be in the stables if you need me. Gotta put out the fodder before it's the next kid's shift. Don't want her thinking I left my work for her to do. Oh, but if I'm not in the stables and you need to find me, I'll be at the forest up north, cause there's a bunch of logs lying around up there. I figure I ought to chop them up, or else someone might trip on a log, or we might run out of firewood. And if I chop, then it'll save other people time. If it looks like I'm done there, then the quarters need to be sweeped. So if you see Sedith and you need to find me, then I might be there. Can I help you with anything? Nope, this is my job. I'm not giving it to anyone else, because it's mine and I'm gonna do it. Besides, if you help me out, Lady Rhea might give me an earful. I don't know why, but Lady Rhea sure does seem to like you. She's always worried about what you might be doing or not doing. <laughs> Cam, is that so? Oh yeah, not that it's any of my business. Anyways, Lady Rhea asked me to do some jobs, so I'm doing them all. Even some she didn't ask for, <laughs> but I know need doing, so I'm doing them. End of story. And remember, if you see Sadith around, come find me and tell me where you saw him, yeah? Seems like it'll be tough to find you. Huh? But I just told you where I'd be. If I'm not in the stables, I'll be at the forest. If I'm not, oh, I see. You're right, I'm all over the place, huh? I don't want to waste your time, Professor, so if you see Sedith, how about you tell him I was looking for him, and then tell him all the places I'll be? Then he can spend his time looking for me instead of you. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. A real good plan. Let's do that. See you later, Professor. These outfits are so whack. Wait, <laughs> We'll finish off the rest of this month with them on, I think. <laughs> just, to, just to see them. But I'm gonna switch. I'm not gonna keep these on for long. These are freaking silly. My oh my. What do we want here? How about some purple flower seeds? Boopity bop. Plant the selected seeds. Cultivate it with freaking, I don't know, pruning. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we run. What? Wait, what are these shoes? They look almost like weird bowling shoe things. Well, I guess they're like gym sneakers or something like that. <laughs> Alright, let's get the motivation up first and foremost. Professor. Professor. Hey. Oh, maybe I should serve a special dish here to help me defeat the Death Knight. Like... Hmm... Professor. Yeah, I could get motivation up with someone outside my house here, like Bernadetta. So, plus three HP for the rest of the month, plus one strength for the rest of the month, plus two dex, plus one speed, plus two luck, plus one defense. Hmm. Maybe that'll help me with staying alive against them by increasing my chances slightly. Or this would help, this would probably help me even more, less chance of getting double attacked by him. Like, that would actually be the most useful against Death Knight, potentially. I feel like. So. Let me show you my cooking talent. So yeah, I might get some training gauntlets to give to my character, because... No more secret spice and... Training hey, gauntlets is basically the weapon that you put on to have, like, the least chance of getting double attacked. Though I'm pretty sure the Death Knight won't move off of his throne there. But just in case, I'm gonna go get some for the convoy. Yeah, she's freaking magic! She just wills it, and it's so. And it becomes so. The food was cooked. Anyway, uh, yeah, I would like to, I don't know if I have one already or not. So let's go here to training gauntlets. Bam. That'll just sit in the convoy. I'll swap it out during battle if, if need be. Man, I want to go up there. I want to see what's up there. Man, oh man. I was thinking. Why can't I go over here anyway? It's just nothing. There's nothing special over there. Just let me go over. 
Are you ready for the dodgeball game later, Sylvain? Oh man, all right, time to get some motivation up here. So we're also gonna have to get it up for Eliza, Thea, and Cyril. Is what we better do. <laughs> oh, these like outfits. It. Yeah, you. So Liza, Thea, and Cyril. Well, there's. Oh, Dimitri and Liza, Thea. So who else? Ingrid and Cyril. Ingrid and Cyril. Yeah, these gamers over here. They're either ready for an intense oh, game of dodgeball or like. I used to love this They're pro esports tournaments, aren't they? Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Motivation up. And Ingrid and Cyril, right there. Just like that. Just like that, there. It's so ridiculous seeing the characters deal, wearing this. Nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. This is so I'm good. not gonna leave these on the characters for long. Okay, motivation's maxed out now. Uh, let's go have a look at those statues now that we got a whole bunch of bonus renown to spend. Thanks to the DLC stuff. So let's go spend a bunch of that. There's one note. Um, when I see students enthusiastically eating together in the dining hall, I sometimes wish to join them. I wonder if that would be a bother. Um, I'm sure the students would be happy to share a meal, Rhea. You'd like to hear that answer. I wonder if Rhea is recruitable. I still don't understand if whether she is or not. Uh, now we have a whole bunch of experience to spend here, so we can get EXP plus ten there. You're all set. And just like that, every character in my roster now gets forty percent bonus experience after every battle, and like my character Byleth here, as well as Dimitri, as part of their personal skill, they get twenty bonus experience anyway. So now. Both Dimitri and the main character here get 60% more experience than they normally would from every battle, and everybody else gets 40%. And yeah, Byleth is speeding. Speeding around. Also, like, this stuff here, the last nodes aren't super important to unlock on the statues. Like, it just increases what the maximum stats are, and I, in my first playthrough, I never got to the point where I maxed out any stats anyway, so I doubt that I would get to that. But... I mean, we'll do it anyway, oh, just because as long as I keep doing the same new game plus chain, then this is stuff that's permanent and doesn't go away. Whereas if I spend my renown on other stuff, then, you know, that's not something that's going to carry over to, like, other save files and such. So, this one? so yeah, I think I'll spend this renown on the They're statues here. Because as long as I continue the same new game plus chain, You're these statues set. will be done forever. And then and then I'll have a ton of renown in future playthroughs to spend on like anything, which will really help with like maddening difficulty with the next playthrough. Where I'm gonna be like getting the lay of the land, seeing how difficult it is, and deciding if I do want to do a non-new game plus maddening classic playthrough in the future where I only train flaws. Hello, Rexus! How are things going there? Oh man, we can't max out the last statue there, but we're coming close. Is that a deeper gold? It is, isn't it? That's the one statue that I haven't maxed here, right? It's actually a deeper gold. I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain there. Freaking... Sure, let's do a little bit of choir here. Try to get some... I don't know some happiness from some other students outside of my house make them more motivated to join me neat it's going good awesome good to hear <gasps> there's a thing how to bake sweets okay we should go get some faculty training or something like that things are going pretty well here just sitting down and chilling with a great game here where I'm so ready for dodgeball now. Like, this is some new stuff that they added. So um, I put it on briefly, but <laughs> you know, it's kind of whack. There we go. We got the budding talent. Such power dwells within. Also, what class am I right now? Anyway, I forget. Oh, I'm a freaking healing mage. So that goes well with that. And I wanted to work on my axes, I think. 
I think, maybe? But yeah, things are going pretty chill. I, I'm i really bogged down on games to stream, though. Like, there's this, there's Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 3, which was revealed at the same time it was released. Where So it was like, what the heck? This just came out of nowhere. So all of a sudden, I have to do that, too. There's freaking Bowser Jr.'s Journey, which I'm t I've am i technically beaten. We've seen the end of the story and like the credits, but now there's like some post-game content that I want to get through. And Link's Awakening on the Switch releases exactly a week from now. So it's like, how the heck am I going to factor that into the mix? And here I was planning to go into September being like, oh, time to be a like largely Smash Bros. streamer again and do like playthrough stuff on the side. But there's been too much playthrough stuff that I can't. I can't just do... Freaking practice yields results. A lot of Smash Bros stuff that I was originally planning on doing. Gerald. Why can you trade me in? Is there anyone else who can trade me in axes? I'm pretty sure Eloise can. And I can use my last activity point on that. That's probably not a bad idea. Uh not the fish keeper. Freaking Eloise. Over here, Alois. And you can give me a little bit of axe training here. Smash was killed for you? How so? Because I've been getting decently stressed with it lately with the numerous flaws that I've been having, like playing Pokemon Trainer. Like the fact that low percents, you land a Squirtle forward tilt and you think that you can combo it into like a grab or something like that and your opponent immediately starts jabbing you for triple the damage you just dealt with a forward tilt. It's like, oh great. I got punished for landing an attack. Also, dang, low battery. Should I plug it in here? Should I plug in my controller? I keep forgetting to charge them between streams. Man, oh man. Why do I keep forgetting this? I have a spare cord right here, though. I think I can just plug it into, like, my desktop to charge. Zen skilled it for you? Why? Sure, it's a meme, and it's strange, but... <laughs> But it's just a me costume. It's like that scene from Spongebob. Calm down, son. It's just a drawing. Except it's not a drawing. But you know what I mean. Plug in the controller here. Charging. Sweet. Um, but yeah. Check one, two, check. Spoiler detection. No spoilers for you. Detecting streamer identity. Follow for a while. Executing, watching, and chatting protocol. Time to blend in with the humans over here. Crack it, apparently. Hope things are going well, and I hope you have done well with apparently blending in with the humans today. Um, you know, also, my house now is so ready for the most intense game of dodgeball they're ever going to get in their freaking lives. <laughs> Try to be funny, I figured so there. Yeah, all the spoilers. Speaking of spoilers, we're about to do the chapter where we have to, like, rest- Or the battle where we need to, like, rescue some students and, like, defeat the Death Knight and stuff. And in my first playthrough, I wasn't strong enough to beat him. But in my second playthrough here, and understanding the game better, and it being New Game Plus and stuff, I feel like we're gonna absolutely annihilate this Death Knight. Here we go- Oh, there's a freaking birthday first. <laughs> it's Dorothea's birthday. Oh, it's t -per Oh, yeah, don't I have a freaking tab open saying what T-People's like? Um, or what, yeah, what teas they like. All right, so let's see here. So, Dorothea likes Albinian Berry Blend. Ah, right there. Or Sweet Apple Blend. I think I have both, right? Oh, there's Sweet Apple Blend and Albinian Berry Blend. I have two of those, so let's use one of these then. <laughs> Let's use one of these then. A moment to relax. You're very thoughtful, Professor. So much better than those nobles. Thank goodness to the internet. All right, I'm gonna mess this up completely though. So let's see. Dorothy apparently likes acting, singing, decorations, music, animals. What a happy little moment. And dislikes herself and considered nobles. Okay, so I can't talk about her then. So acting, singing, decorations, music, animals. Um. Dang, man. Yeah, I'm trying here, Bearded. How's it going today? But, oh man. Come on! That's like none of the options that were there. Um. Oh, dang it. This one's the bad one. Come on, man. 
these guides on like the tea and stuff like it helps me choose what tea to select but that's the only thing these guides over all over the internet are freaking useless i swear cup of tea. Thank you, professor. what should i have selected there oh i hit a a little bit early there what should i have selected oh man all right time to screw up the death knight Alright, so I thought there would be a cutscene there immediately. Certifications. Quickly, what are my chances of becoming a brigand? 72%. Do I want to do that? That was a lovely cup of tea. Unfortunately, you suck at conversation, Professor. Yeah, yeah. Also, I have a 72% chance of becoming a brigand now, which is a class that if I max out, I get death blow. Which is a very nice skill to have there. Plus six strength when you initiate combat. So let's try it here. Ah! That didn't happen. <laughs> Apparently, my character doesn't know that much about swinging an axe. Go on, slab and welcome to the jam. The ball is to blame? What? What does that mean? Like when I sucked at the ball on the first playthrough? By not participating in it? Probably not. Or the ball is to blame when it comes to basketball there. Oh, oh, for the attire. At first I was like, what does this have to do with basketball? I get it now, it's the freaking attire. I was connecting it more to dodgeball before, but yeah, any freaking gym activities there, I guess. That's what, that's what my class is ready for now. I wonder if it's gonna show that attire like in the cutscenes here leading up to the, to this Death Knight boss. I wonder, that'd be pretty hilarious. Crests are to blame, the ball is to blame. And that's why Edelgard gets so mad. Because we annihilate her too hard in basketball. The blue lion's house is just too strong. I wish it didn't take as long to load, but at least it's not. The way some games are. Anyone else want to change their class? Dimitri's mercenary, that's good because that'll give advantage. Slam to the basketball. Oh yeah, yeah, it seems like Felix would do all by himself there. Wouldn't he? Yeah, everybody has equipped classes that they haven't maxed out and like useful stuff Cool Let's go ahead and do the mission then So the monastery is shocked to learn that Sedith's younger sister Flane has gone missing after an exhaustive search for clues You finally come upon a lead Neat man save Danger radius, danger area 